Thank you so much. Uh, as you're seeing uh, from uh, that uh, video, uh, that's uh, the legend, uh, Dr. Richard Morgan Tangirai. And uh, today we are celebrating his uh, life. Uh, and maybe let me begin by saying happy, happy, happy Valentine uh, to all Machinja, Mazan PF, Varakashi, everyone. Today, uh, it's not. Loved everyone. Remember, he's the man who created uh, the big, he's the man who created the big tent. And uh, that big tent uh, uh, has been made bigger by President uh, Nelson Chamisa. So today we are not uh, uh, segregating, we are talking to everyone. And I'm joined here by the VP yourself, uh, the Vice President of the MDC Alliance, uh, VP Karenyi. She walked a long journey uh, with this man, uh, with uh, Dr. Richard Morgan Trangrai. And today she's going to review everything that uh, she ever learned and <laughs> got <laughs> from this man. <laughs> so look forward to that. Uh, sit back and uh, relax and enjoy. Uh, the VP is here. VP Magadi Zenyu, please uh, take uh, a few minutes to greet our viewers and listeners on Change Radio and uh, on Zim I YouTube and Zim I uh, Facebook. Uh, greetings to everyone. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Magadi Happy Valentine's Day. Ah, Tinotena VP, thank you so much. Uh, let's uh, get uh, right into it. Uh, those who, are, who want to ask uh, the VP questions, please uh, feel free to type in the comment section and uh, ask more about uh, this man uh, who is known as the father of democracy in Zimbabwe, Dr. Richard Morgan Trangirai. Uh, but uh, VP, please just tell us uh, your history with uh, Dr. Richard Morgan Trangirai. You know, I know you were there with him when all this started and uh, uh, when he died, you were there and uh, you are still with the MPC. You are still a Muchinja for life. Please. Uh, just uh, indulge us, tell us everything about uh, Dr. Richard Morgan Trangirai. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I think it's a long journey, but I'm going to cut it very short for the sake of time. Uh, I think I can say um, 1999, that's when I managed to join the movement for democratic change. and. Uh, during that time, I know very well that uh, it was not easy to be uh, in the leadership, but uh, I managed to be one of the people who were in the lower structures from the branches, uh, ward, their district, province, and uh, up to where I am now. And um, Working with uh, Dr. Morgan Richard Trangela, it was very easy for me because he was uh, like a father to me. And uh, mm. I, I, I used to say, Baba, I, most of my time, Daivati Baba, and Daivati Zangu President Kajinji. But uh, from the uh, background, he was my president. And I really respect him so, so much because I've learned a lot from him. And I remember very well during my time in Mutare um, uh, North, 
when I was the secretary for that district. That's when I managed to be voted in as a councillor. And uh, during that time, it was not very easy because I remember very well that was the time of the Makwawarara issue. And uh, Save used to say, mm -hmm. but we managed <laughs> <laughs> to maintain so the name. I know Viranasi, especially during our time, the 2003-2005 era, whereby uh, Chombo uh, fired most of the executive mayors. So I guess I took advantage that time when Muzuri was fired and uh, she decided to join ZANU PF. So we worked with uh, Dr. Morgan Changrai very, very well. And uh, uh, I, I enjoyed working with him because uh, uh, my Changirai was one of the uh, person who always used to come uh, politics. Most of the people, they say she was not a politician, but from my own uh, understanding, she was really a politician because we used to discuss before the rallies, we used to iron out some problems, we used to solve some conflicts because of uh, my issues in Changirai. So we worked very, very well. And uh, when I was elected as a member of parliament for Chimani Mani West, I remember very well that I didn't want to go and contest in the rural areas. But he encouraged me to say, ah, Kore, you are an organizer. You can go and mobilize people there. And he encouraged me very, very well. And I managed for sure to campaign and we, we won that constituency. And from there... You, you were the uh, first woman to, to win an election in the rural areas, right, for MGC? Yeah, 2008, I was the only female member of parliament who had a, a, a rural constituency. And the, with his leadership style, I think I've learned a lot. And I managed to go to Chimani Mani, stayed in the rural areas, Tichita, everything, my door to door. The campaign was not easy, but I think uh, coping from his style of leadership, I think I managed to run that constituency. So when I was elected as the organizing secretary for the assembly, for the assembly of women at national level, uh, that time it was not easy because I remember very well uh, the organizing secretary was uh, Vamzuri. And uh, we used to go to the rural areas. And I remember very, very well when uh, Dr. Morgan Richard Changrai used to go around the country with us meeting the traditional leaders meeting the the, the the stakeholders it was not very difficult during that time because langa vachiri very very eager for their party so when i was um elected as the chairperson for the assembly of women yes it was not easy to work as the chair i know very well to lead women <laughs> but because of <laughs> Of him. Normally, I used to say, yeah, in president, but he used to say, hey, can I mark that I could lead the one? What about me leading the whole country? And you are only leading the assembly. What about me? So you must go and work, make sure you deliver. And I did what I think was best. And I I, 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 I really thank him for, for, for that. So I think... Uh, Pateria upon us is because of him. Mm. Mm. Anyway, let's uh, go to our viewers here. Let's hear what they are saying. The People's VP, Kore, how are you? Happy Valentine's. Uh, that's our Wellington uh, team, our youth uh, leader here in North America. Pasine, uh, Zanu, Pamberine, MDC, T Smart. That's not true. Marakashi, yes, I know PF to Nana Nasty because he is very good. Nana and the Tis Madans, he died fighting for us. Uh, Verenuka Kanukamwe Chisungo, uh, rest in peace, Changrai, uh, Changson, our hero, uh, Albert Mupofu in China. He's saying a Zimbabwean politician who was prime minister from 2009 to 2013, founder and president of the movement for democratic change, and a key figure. On the in the opposition uh, to Robert Mugabe and Emerson uh, Munangagwa, Changrai died at the age of 65 after reportedly suffering from uh, cholesterol uh, cancer. 
Victor Chigwida Masiwa Humble Woman, referring to our VP Musa Musa Madeline Panepo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't call you Lynn because you are my VP. Those kind of guys go on Sangan. Sangan, guy, I don't know what I'm talking about. Pardon, TG Gwenzi. Karenyi, my favorite moon. Pamba ini, Bora, Mother. Sangrai was a true leader, which left a crop who carried the barrier, uh, will get her from freedom. Uh, many comments coming from uh, all over the world here. Uh, that's uh, the man we are talking about. He deserves all these good comments. But moving on, uh, VP, uh, please uh, tell us, uh, where were you when uh, you heard about the uh, bad news? And uh, whom did you call first? <laughs> whom did you talk to? <laughs> did you call President Ch uh, uh, Chamisa? Did you call Monzora? Did you call uh, the former VP, then uh, <laughs> Muzuri? <laughs> Can you just enlighten us on that? To be very honest with you, Mr. Chairman, it was not easy to receive the sad news because I remember very well I was, uh, I was home and Tangata uh, and you know when you were not even expecting anything, I just call, I just get a call from one of his drivers, and he said, uh, "Mother, we had an accident." And uh, I found uh, two people who were very, very uh, 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 close. And I think uh, during that time, uh, the first uh, person I called was uh, Amai Makon, knowing very well that she was very close to my Shangrai because I tried to get Shangrai's number and the number was not uh, uh, reachable. So I called Mai Makon and she was just crying. Then I called... Um, uh, the Honorable Chamis at that time, he was not yet the VP. And um, mm. uh, 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 it was not... He was not yet the was, president. No, he was not yet the president. He was the VP. Yeah. Mm. So I said to the vice president then, who is now the president, I said, President, VP, tell me, where are you? And he said, my core things are not okay. That's when I said to myself, things are not okay for sure. Then he said, I will call you just now. Give us some minutes. Mm -hmm. The president has been involved in an accident, but uh, Mama, is not, uh, the, 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 uh, Mama is not well. So I will try to talk to you after some minutes. So that's when I said to myself, what else can I do? I tried to call, then I called Baba Makoni. Baba Makoni, and it was not easy for us. And then the family. Uh, it was really sad. Yeah, it was sad. It was really sad. And um, myself, uh, when I received the call, please, uh, those who are listening, tell us uh, where you were, what you were doing uh, when you, you received uh, the message that uh, the icon, uh, Dr. Richard Morgan Trangrai, uh, had uh, passed on. Uh, myself, I was uh, having dinner. You know, I was having, actually having dinner, uh, Valentine dinner, because it was Valentine. I had to cut that uh, off immediately because uh, someone just uh, called me and uh, she was crying. And this person who uh, did that, who called me, was just, you know, wailing and crying. She was so close to uh, Dr. Richard Morgan Changrai. So she was calling me, Chief, Chief, Morgan Alpha. That's how, we, you, that's how close she was. To, uh, to 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 the to the former president, Chief Mogenafa, Mogen, and she was crying. I could not do anything. I just uh, you know uh, took myself up and uh, I left uh, that uh, uh, restaurant where I was, and I was on the phone uh, all the way until I got back home. She was crying, and I also started crying. It was really bad. We knew that uh, uh, the men uh, we had uh, started. We had confronted the regime, as you are seeing here, lying there in the hospital. Uh, he had been beaten, and uh, we, we knew that uh, that man was gone, and it was not easy, you know. So, uh, VP, uh, you were not alone when you heard the news, when you didn't even know what to do. I also didn't know what to do. 
So it was a very difficult moment for uh, everyone. But anyway, uh, going back, uh, um, please uh, share with us any life lessons, because this man was always teaching. This man was always, uh, you know, inculcating something in people. He was always doing that. Whether you're having a meeting with him or you're just talking to him, you know, in a, in a normal or ordinary conversation, he was teaching. He always, was always saying something. So please share with us any lighter moments, uh, anything that you, uh, that Dara shared with you or any uh, favorable quotes that you, you used to hear from him. I remember him, Achitawara Tsumwe Awe Guti, ah, he ma koma nain, regerai, regerai nguruwe ishi kangi ni mafuta ayo. Wale, une mwa atawara kuti, eh, president, kune chakati chiri kuitika, kune mwa nakata kuita chakati, ino zanyadze makuwa ayo. Ukutawara, ah, regerai, wakada, regerai nguruwe ishi kangi ni mafuta ayo. I, 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 I like that statement even today, I use that statement. Uno siya wanu wachita sa wane ita, uchungota regerai muna hata shikanga, Munata Zusunga Ega, you know, he, he was just that, that man. Uh, maybe VP, you can uh, tell us more about uh, this man. Uh, Mr. Chairman, you know, because of the pain and because of the suffering and because of the memories we shared with the president, I was now talking about the issue of uh, the time when he got, uh, 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 or when he passed on, and I was mixing it with the uh, the, the late uh, Mai Changirai. So I was yeah. more talking about Mai Changirai and not talking about his uh, 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 days and his more oh, uh, time. Okay. I see, I see. So okay. I was now mixed the time when Mai Changirai got involved in an accident, and that, that time it was not also easy for us. But, yeah, you, uh, you saw it all. You saw it all. <laughs> yeah, for, so for Baba Changirai, uh, it was not easy for us, especially when we, we, we I, I remember the moments when he came from South Africa, it was more like talking about uh, Madi Mikira. Mm. What were you doing? Did you ever had any meeting when I was in South Africa? It was more like people were panicking and he was not even happy about it. You could say, come not equate a meeting. Uh, I remember very well uh, his parables. Uh, he used to say, Ukawona munu, uh, uh, Ukawona umaita any uh, decision, and you see Zanu PF celebrating. Then you must know that you have made the wrong decision. So I always remember him those words. Mm. And he used to say, the moment you are not going to go to the house, then you must know that you are not in the right direction. Then you But the moment you do any decision and you see Zanu Pizuichi Jamba, then it's a gejo. So no, he may saying yaita baba wedu wa changirai trying to say whenever you make a decision if zanupia is celebrating then you must know that that decision is wrong that is what i know very well but the moment you hear zanupia and to the viewers out there the moment you hear zanupia which is celebrated with what we have done then most of it, that thing is wrong but when you hear zanupia which is jamba then you know we are in the right direction. That was what I I I, I learned from Baba Changirai. In the Mangwe Mans, we used to say, patience pays. Patience pays. Don't rush to make any decision. Even that you can do your election, don't be so sad to think that that's the end. You must know that Pamberia for things will be okay. And no, it put him go to no piwa and yere. No man's way, and you could have one changira. And as we celebrate him, I celebrate him as um, uh, 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 the light of uh, the movement for democratic change because this man was so courageous, very, very courageous, and he was the face of democracy. I respect him so, so well. And about his leadership qualities, I've learned a lot that um, 
he could fit in any situation, in any situation. He was just someone who could fit. If you go to the traditional leaders, he could fit. If he goes to the statesmen, Obama, he could do anything because he was a man of his word and he, he was so humble. Uh, you know, Baba Changirai is a simple man. Uh, his type of leadership was so simple to an extent that you could not even separate him with uh, with the grassroots with the people because he could always go to the to the people and his leadership was so simple yet so sophisticated yanga yaka zara pachezayo you could say my degree you could talk of with disaster but with him he had that kind of wisdom yanga is navan vajenji so i've learned a lot from Baba Morgan, Richard Changirai, and with his leadership, I know very well that we can go uh, uh, a long way. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I, I cannot uh, 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 forget to say, uh, as we remember Baba Morgan Changirai, we cannot go without mentioning that he was uh, a man of his words. Muno Aita drive the people struggle. I know very well that it's not easy as a leader to be a, a way we are teaching what it is with Atega. And it was unfortunate that by now, but what I know very, very well is we have to take this struggle because he wanted the people of Zimbabwe to have a better life. We remember his milestone, you know, Aida Shakawanda. He wanted the rule of law, Munaida quality education, Munaida Mabasa, Munaida Kuti Mazmai Anga Chirara Mashakanaka, with peace and justice. But you know, at the moment, Jenisho Zosheta Satajita. So I know very well, but it's unfortunate that some of us are taking this struggle reversed and they are taking his gains back. You know, mm -hmm. he's taking the step of Mashure because he, that was not his plan and that was not his vision. Because I remember Sawi, Machita Urabuti, Imimi Vanu, you are not supposed to think about yourself. You must think about the people as leaders. So sometimes in Dunozo, Neka Angunda Kufunga, some of us, Vanufunga Zekujra, Vanufunga Zemotkari, Vanufunga Zekurara, Maneva Nawedu peacefully. I think. We are losing the focus. Let's go back and say, what was uh, Morgan Richard Changrai's vision? Because his vision, Mr. Chairman, was just to dismantle the autocrats and achieve democratic change by transforming Zimbabwe to a sustainable, uh, just, prosperous, God-fearing, ethical, and a democratic state. That was what Morgan Richard Changrai willing to be and in we will make sure that we will win the election, attain the state power, inform the next government, and transform the lives of the people of Zimbabwe. Because Mr. Chairman, because without a, a, a taking the people of Zimbabwe to the state house, obviously we could have failed. And it's also in that side. Mm, mm, powerful. Very powerful. And, uh, very powerful and, uh, very encouraging way. I don't know what uh, where the uh, feedback is coming from. Uh, Leo in the background, uh, if you can fix that, thank you so much. I think uh, it's uh, it's gone. I think uh, that's uh, what uh, people want to hear the words that you just said. And I think uh, even uh, Morgan Changra himself will be smiling if he knows that uh, his vision is not going to die. And uh, having said that, uh, VP, I think uh, you are part of the presidium. Uh, we, you guys, we need to thank you so much because you are carrying over, you are carrying on the good work that was started by Baba Changrai and uh, all the founding fathers and founding mothers uh, of uh, the uh, democratic uh, movement. We want to thank you so much for that. I think you can say a few words uh, about uh, what is going on right now, how President Chamisa has taken over uh, the baton and is carrying over the 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 vision that uh, Dr. Morgan uh, Changrai wanted. You know, he, you know, every now we talk about the big tent. The big tent is still there. President Chamisa is taking everyone. He talks about BBI, Breaking Barriers Initiative, 
where he's bringing people from other political parties, the independents, even some people from uh, zanu -Pier. And you hear some people asking, why is uh, President Chamisa doing that? Why is President Chamisa doing that? But uh, he is following in the footsteps of the icon. He is following the vision. President uh, Changrai wanted all the people to come together. That's the reason why today uh, we had uh, we have uh, uh, Honorable Tendai Biti back, uh, Honorable uh, uh, Welshman Nguwe back. It's the vision of our father, Dr. Richard Morgan Changrai. He, is, he was always a man of peace, like you said when you started, a man of unity. He wanted to bring people together, and uh, that's the reason why we are where we are right now, because he realized that uh, uh, Tiritega is MDC Alliance. We cannot deliver Zimbabwe. We need every Zimbabwean uh, out there. We need everyone for us to be able to uh, uh, deliver the vision that was started in 1999. And uh, I think, uh, VP, you can testify uh, that uh, President Chamisa is doing just that. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, uh, allow me to say he's doing a lot. And uh, he, he, you agree with me that he is young, very, mm -hmm. very young. But with the leadership qualities, uh, uh, I think uh, he is trying his level best. Mm -hmm. One thing I've learned from uh, uh, my president advocate, Nelson Chamisa, is uh, if you take the Nelson Chamisa, whom you used to know during that time, and the Chamisa now is a, is totally a different person. He's totally a different person. He has grown to the extent as if Atuemuno Abbas, Zera Kanyanya, as if he's older than me, though he's very younger than me. But if you take uh, the situation during that time, when uh, Baba Mogen Richard Changirai was trying by all means to bring in everyone, to create this big tent, to bring in everyone who was uh, part of this uh, struggle and everyone and got any agenda to remove this uh, regime in power. Most of the people could not agree with Baba Mogen Changirai, but uh, uh, Advocate Nelson Chamisa and others, including ourselves, we decided to make sure that we uh, implement uh, this decision to make sure that Sawe would uh, uh, follow my footsteps over Chiter and Kutitoita say. Because during that time, Majinji, they were not agreeing with the big tent. But uh, as a leader, you must embrace. And you could even go further to say if we have managed to work during the inclusive government as a, as a nation, why not involve our, uh, our friends? And uh, the reason why the president managed, the, the president um, Morgan Changirai managed to say, uh, Advocate Chamisa, you have to lead the issue of the Big Ten in the alliance and make sure that you go the whole country, try to mobilize. I think he has seen something uh, in him that he was going to make sure that he could bring everyone uh, together. And uh, mm -hmm. we must to go to the election. And upon uh, mm -hmm. we, us, we went for the elections and uh, we were under the banner of the MDC Alliance as a party. And that was the a, a time when we managed to go the whole country with Advocate Nelson Chamisa to campaign for the presidential vote. And uh, as MDC Alliance, I think uh, we did uh, the best because we managed to win the elections. And uh, it was not easy to win against the regime, but with him as the driver, he, he managed to do, to, 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 to make sure that every word, every constituent, like I entered the campaign, and we won the elections. And after that, I think as a president, he managed to continue kuramba vachichira chitima, and he, I think it was seen uh, during our time we went to Congress and we went to Gweru and as a president, uh, he, he managed to bring everyone together. 
and for those vaka kwanisa kukunda mungu wa iyo yo because he doesn't believe in the issue yekuti pane muna aruza he managed mm. to bring one up a, 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 a board to say eh, tese we are one family and aka kundikana was also involved in in the issue of uh, forming the 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 the, the, the um, national standing committee and uh, i think uh, chief you can uh, agree with me could you would see could everyone aka contest in the standing committee anga ari mom standing committee and yes, the, yes, yes, uh, yes. that thing alone is uh, a, 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 um Chino Chamuno Timega, it's not easy for a leader to bring someone who contested with you and work with that person. And I think it's also like as you from Morgan Richard Changirai because our icon used to say, we have to embrace each other and make sure that we give each other responsibility because Shigaru Shaka Wanda, Chara Chinga, Chitwa Nyinda. And Advocate Nelson is a managed to do that. And Shinu Shika Famba, yes, I know very well that at the moment uh, things are not okay. You would see others watching Manya Marchenda and Kuko, others watching Manya Chenda and Uko. But my question comes back to say, Muno Akambo unza the issue of the alliance and the issue of the big tent in the end. If I remember very, very well, if we are honest with ourselves, it's Baba Morgan Richard Changirai. He wanted everyone to be on board and he, he managed to, 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 to make sure that the Welshman is in, Tendai Biti is in, and after that, we managed to win the elections. So he believed that Pasinama Koma Naiva Vava. Pasina other political parties, Vese Vanangaru Vume, the others, Vese Vanandonga, Vanani. He had this in mind to say, if we come together, to Nukwansaku Visa Zanu Pia. So if anyone out there would say, ah, the MDC alliance is, uh, it, it doesn't exist, then you are fighting with his legacy. You are also fighting with Dr. Morgan Richard Changirai because he's the one. Who, who brought the idea of the alliance? Not even anybody. He did not even plan with anybody. If I remember very, very well, uh, Advocate Nelson Chamisa, um, Honorable Kube, Honorable Muzuri, that time, Wese is the vice president. They didn't like the idea. But later on, after, this is the only way. And the alliance is the only vehicle to reach Kenan. That's when Advocate Nelson Chamisa managed to bring everyone aboard and say, eh, eh, let's go and eh, make sure that this thing will happen. And eh, I think Semunu Aka did this, Aka Uzwakuti, the alliance is the only vehicle. This is what he's doing. This is what he's doing. He's still on the steering and he's trying by all means to bring everyone. And uh, uh, my words out there to those who are saying the alliance doesn't exist, then you are fighting with the Changirai legacy because he's the one Akatanga Nishie, the alliance. And uh, to him, I would say anyone fighting the alliance is also fighting with Dr. Morgan Richard Changirai. Yeah, and uh, you were spot on when you say that. If you do something uh, and you see Zanu PF celebrating Zanu PF, uh, uh, you know that's uh, that's what they want. You know, right now the person, the people who are, we have been leading the agenda of name change uh, that uh, the MDC leave uh, the legacy of the MDC's name. You know, are Zanu PF people mostly, and uh, I think uh, you are you are you're very right there that. Uh, if you see Zanu PF celebrating, then it means that's exactly what they want you to uh, to be doing. But anyway, as we finish, uh, VP, I know you have uh, other engagements. Uh, can you uh, tell us uh, the the way forward? Uh, what uh, uh, where are we going as a as a party as uh, Zimbabweans, uh, and what are we doing to ensure that uh, the legacy of uh, Dr. Richard Morgan Changirai lives on? That uh, those values, uh, you know, those things that he was believing in when he, when we started at uh, the MDC in uh, back then in 1999 and 1998 uh, when uh, the, the talks began, to make sure that uh, those ideas don't just go away, and to make sure that uh, 
you know, the death of Morgan Tangerai, the death of my Susan Tangerai, the death of all those are uh, over 2,000 activists who have been killed. Don't go in vain. What are we doing? Yeah, Mr. Chairman, I think before I go there, allow me, Mr. Chairman, to say uh, maybe it will also help I know very well that well that power in Odiwa. But I think wherever you are in the Fungawega Patakava, we have come from far, from 1999. And as we celebrate and as we remember uh, our icon, I think he sacrificed a lot. He sacrificed for his life, yes, he for his wife, just to put the struggle first. He yeah, and he lost his daughter too. And uh, I, 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 I just want to say, his sacrifice must not go in vain. We have got Vana Tondera Indira, we have got Vana Beta Chokurama, Vana Lenmo, Jongwe, Vana Maisus and Changirai, because Maisus and Changirai, Vana Kungofa. It was yes. because Vana Kuneva Ito Dakura Sari. And he saved the Baba during that time. So maybe we must flash back to say he was uh, someone who could sacrifice the anything. Why don't we just sacrifice for assets? Why don't we just sacrifice for our own gain and think about the people of Zimbabwe? He didn't even think about Kuti Avacha Jigei Mumba. So we would go the whole country, Nemota Yawe Yoya Yeredia, without even anything, Vachinwa tea, Vachinwa drink Nema Band, sacrificing for the people of Zimbabwe. So we must also think about his sacrifice to say, Hashingangwe and Mahara. He contributed to the people's struggle. And we must make sure that we will fulfill his vision. And uh, maybe I can just say, uh, Chief, 2008, I know very well that Baba Mugen Richard Changirai uh, 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 sacrificed for his life. My elections are fired, but he managed to save the people of Zimbabwe. He managed to save the, the, the to save the people of Zimbabwe, and there is no Zimbabwe, there is no Zimbabwe which can be said about anything without including Morgan Richard Changira, because he contributed to the people's struggle. It's unfortunate that even the regime they then uh, had to honor him in his death. Huh? Oh, during his days, they were not even doing anything. They were the same people of our violence. They were the same people of Aimuroa. They were the same people of Aimuitira Nyazana, Beni Minashe, and the like. But to be very honest, there is no history out there in Zimbabwe that would be written without mentioning Dr. Morgan Richard Changra. So why can't we just be uh, uh, the same Nejavaita? Kopatichafa. What would people say? Because people would start to say, Van Waka Sir was a Gita Namuge, Richard Changra. But look now, they are fighting for position. They are fighting for themselves. Why are we forgetting about the people of Zimbabwe? Yes, we can be in parliament. Yes, we can be in the ministries. Some of the some of the people are just thinking about getting in the ministry. But let's not forget about these are the same people. Vaka Pinda in the GNU with Morgan Richard Changirai, and the same people managed to make sure that Changirai will not see the new Zimbabwe. So let's not forget about that, Chief. And mm. uh, I'm sorry to say, Vabi Alangu out there, let's go back to our senses and say, are we really for are we really fighting for the uh, 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 Changirai legacy, or we are fighting for ourselves? If you are fighting for ourselves, then Shame on us. We don't know where we are going. Because the people of Zimbabwe out there, they know what they voted for. They know what they want. You cannot go in a shop, Yauno Pinda with the uh, advocate Nelson Chamisa, shop you Chirambayaga Varwa. Inoto Varwa. Shop you Inoto Varwa. Because Pano it has stampeded. 
then it clearly shows you to say to tell, tell, tells you to say ndiye muna tori kudiwa mungu yacho iyo and we must try by all means to give him support and we are doing a lot as a party uh with this uh, pandemic it's not going to be very easy to go out there physically we are trying by all means to make sure that our vision is going to be fulfilled and uh, as you know chief uh, uh, uh we are under these restrictions zekufamba zekuita marallies but uh, very soon you will see my e rallies you will see my e demos because it's our democratic right we are mm -hmm. a, a peaceful party we are not going to do any form of violence we are just going to do it peacefully and the, the constitution allows us that if you are not happy mwanasinga cheme anofira mbereko and the programs will be there and we will continue to make sure that we will put the mdc alliance on the map and we will make sure that the women will do their programs they are going to continue with their Mone Morupu campaigns, they are going to continue with the issues of uh, um, beat the pot. I know very well, Kutitese, we agree, Mr. Chairman, Kutimuzimba, Nema Poto, but Mapoto Ana Chin. So, as women, we want to go out there to say, Ayuaka, Imiwa no shiti ma president, Imiwa no shiti uru mende, Tipe ika che kujiga, we need food on the table. We need jobs for our children and for our husbands. So we are going to make sure that we will carry on with this program to make sure that if we beat the pot and the pot is a noise, then we will be demanding the government to you know enough is enough. And we are, make, we are going to make sure that we will uh, 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 make sure that we will involve everyone, everyone, every sector to make sure that we we'll fight for the reforms because without the reforms we know things are not going to be easy for us so we'll continue to fight for the reforms we'll continue to make sure that we we'll bring in everyone and make sure that we we'll remove zanopia mm. thank you very much uh, vp i think uh, that is a, uh, those are powerful closing statements uh, people of zimbabwe thank you so much uh, for joining uh, we have been here uh, for the past uh, 45 minutes with the MDC Alliance Vice President, uh, Honorable Lineta Karenyi Kore. Thank you so much uh, for agreeing to this uh, discussion and uh, showing the road uh, to uh, which uh, we can get to Kenani so that we honor the legacy uh, of uh, Dr. Richard Morgan Trangirai. And uh, our viewers, those who are just joining us, uh, we are just uh, rounding up here we were celebrating the life of uh, Dr. Richard Morgan Changirai, uh, the man uh, behind the fight for democracy in Zimbabwe. And that's why he is known as uh, Father Democracy, the father of uh, democracy in Zimbabwe. Thank you very much, VP, and thank you very much, uh, all those uh, who joined us tonight. Uh, thank you, uh, Chief Sose, oh, Mambo Sose, signing off. Uh, let's go and finish off uh, our Valentine. Uh, and uh, I no longer call it Valentine. I now call it uh, Morgan Trangirai Day, Morgan Trangirai Love. Let's spread the Morgan Trangirai Love, the MT Love to everyone uh, in our families. Uh, thank you, VP. Uh, please enjoy thank your you. VP, enjoy your mo MT Love tonight. <laughs> yeah, I will enjoy, I will enjoy the Morgan. Welcome to the Great African Leadership Series where we feature great inspirational speeches and quotes from African leaders. The nation is hurting, and life is tough for everyone outside the parasitic elite that is feeding on the national trough. It is this elite that is fueling the kinds of corruption and is oblivious to the dire situation facing ordinary people in Pumula, Plantin, Farkos, Dotito, and Chirun. Oh yes, corruption, misgovernance, and just plain cluelessness at the national level have become a more dangerous cancer, even more dangerous than the cancer that I am experiencing. 
The MGC National Executive and Council met for nine hours yesterday to discuss the worsening situation in the country. All players have now agreed that the way forward is to put pressure on this illegitimate regime. We have indeed become a big tent. Patriotic Zimbabwe singing the same chorus from different social stations. That should definitely be commended. The party's National Council was unequivocal in its resolution yesterday that President Mugabe and his government must step down and face popular pro or face popular protests as they fail to find lasting solutions to the problems facing the people. To this end, the party resolved yesterday to continue its provincial protest marches while coordinating and preparing for a robust and a comprehensive national action on a date yet to be announced. In that national action, we will be rallying the nation and all democratic forces to converge on the national demand that President Mugabe and his government definitely have to give way to the National Assembly. While our provincial demonstrations will continue, the logistics and mechanics for the national action are currently being worked out. After our deliberations on the national crisis yesterday, the National Council resolved that there has to be a political settlement that inspires confidence nationally, regionally, and internationally. To this end, National Council, the party's supreme making body uh, in between Congress, resolved that the way forward is a multi partisan national transitional authority. Once beaten twice sharp, it is our firm belief that the NTA must not be sculptured as an inclusive government we established seven years ago. The NTA must, by statute, separate separate and operate parallel to the National Executive Authority of Government, but with a specific mandate. The current regime should be left to deal with its own mess, but we cannot, should not make our hands dirty in this area. The NTA will have a very limited tenure and specific mandate to, among other things, one, to supervise the implementation of the Constitution, including alignment of laws to the same. Two, to oversee and monitor the work of commissions, such as the Human Rights Commission, the National Anti-Corruption Commission, and the Reconciliation Commission. Three, to oversee the political reform agenda, some reforms of which are now enshrined in the new constitution, as well as being involved in the preparation for a credible election. Number four, to oversee and monitor food aid and distribution. Number five, to develop a shared national vision and the economic reconstruction program, our country needs its own Marshall Plan. Otherwise, we are dead in the water. The broad mandate of the NTA will be to steer the country on a path towards return to legitimacy through free, truly free and fair and credible elections whose outcome is not disputed. Details of transitional mechanism, including the composition, structure, form, and relationship to the state, executive establishment processes, signposts, roadmap to elections will be negotiated with other stakeholders who are engaged soon on this proposal. What is important now is the consideration of the principle of an authority in between the, so that we can create this transition as a starting point for the country's return to legitimate economic and political.